Ladies and gentlemen, we start the Tales from the Flipside Marker Report for December 6, 2021. Here we go. All right. Since it's episode 200, you guys get to, you know, just these were things that caught my eye. Some of them don't have any spec value. I just enjoyed them. Uh, these, this run of Planet Comics, there's probably 10 or 15 of them ended. I looked like maybe five o'clock this afternoon, even. And some gorgeous covers. So I just felt like talking about them. Um, issue 44, nice looking condition. Great cover with the bubble. Um, there was, like I said, there was 10 or 20. I only picked the ones I really just thought were neat. Um, this one with the uh, the test tube ladies. Um, gorgeous. I mean, really for <sighs> nice condition on a black cover like that. I mean, I that kind of wish looked, I'd seen those. That looks like it was printed this year. Yeah, so I that's how nice I, that looks to me. I didn't dig into them and like look real hard, but they're nice looking copies for what they are. Some went really, really cheap, you know, for a Monday afternoon auction. Like, like that last book. Let's say that's a you send that to CGC. It's a point five, <laughs> just because of whatever's happening beyond that picture. Like, I don't care. Yeah, that, you, you got a hell of a nice looking point yeah, five. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I assume they're completed. They wouldn't have got that money, but I mean, they're nice looking ones that ended at a at a weird time. So yeah, you know, it's always good to catch the Monday auctions, and I didn't, but somebody got some good deals. So enjoy them for what they are. Um, speaking of errors, here's one I don't think I, I don't think I've ever seen or talked about i don't know maybe it's a common known one but death mate black without the black Ooh. Uh, foil added Ooh, there's a white like right that. i've never seen that before but there's a death mate white right no no okay nope. so it would stand out yeah okay so something to keep your eye out for i i'd never been aware of that one i i've dug into the death mates because that weird i think i talked about the orange one that was the insert to a, a um, the Diamond Magazine and all that stuff, but this was uh, one I'd never seen before. So I've been into that for years, and I didn't know that existed. I, I've loved Deathmate for years, and I didn't know that existed. So yeah, it's wild. I tried to pull a lot of those oranges out of the, the diamonds without burning the spine, and I can't do it. So all right, uh, just pull the Yelena because of the talk of her showing up looks like gained a little bit of heat again but still you know we'll, we'll wait and see what happens I, I don't think that character's gone might be a good time to kind of keep eye on and think about buying um these next two of them i'm going to show looks like same seller had one that wasn't sealed for 750 and one that was sealed for a thousand it looks like two sealed right there yeah somebody had a bunch and i this is one we've talked about a few times. I'm like, I don't always want video game stuff, but this one, this one's pretty badass. Did you get one, Paul? Am I making that up? So, so I have just the hardcover, just the book that I think I, yeah, I paid much less than seven fifty for, but I, no bites. I don't know what I have it listed for right now. I'm just fishing, but yeah, it's out there. I just have just the hardcover, but yeah, I don't have the whole set. So yeah, this is a, this is a Props cool little people. thing. I. It, it always amuses me, and I never think about looking for it. But man, I would buy one. I think. What a weird picture! If you so, I just noticed he's in a he or she is in a hotel. With, <laughs> I mean, on the road making money, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you can see the right. This one shows him in the side, so I mean, it, it's all the same listing. It's wild. Mm. So I don't know. I I thought I I kind of wish I would have grabbed it, but you know, sometimes looking hindsight, your dumb ass doesn't see the good stuff. Uh, Golden Age goodness, uh, Green Lantern one, Green Lantern early ones are tough. I mean, his first appearance is one of the toughest DCs to find, one of the rarest. Number one is still tough with this red one, and this is a restored with the front cover only with repo back cover. Still Jeez. got grand. Whew. So those dang early Green Lanterns are tough, tough, tough. Um, kind of, I mean, not underappreciated, just they so, they're so disconnected. It's kind of like the Golden Age Flash. They don't get the money that the other characters that weren't retconned in the Silver Age get. So, I don't know. I think someday it'll have its day. 
Uh, nine eight Spider Man three hundred trended Good around six k, down Good a little thing. bit again after the movie. Good Up, thing Scott down. left. <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Should have had it for Scotty too high. Um, so I, you know, it it's bouncing back and forth between. Oh, uh, somebody let Stein in. Go, oh. welcome, sir. What's up, fellas? What up? Hey, Thought buddy. You will for a minute with the bald head. You never knew. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were hacked. You missed. You missed Scotty. We had all five of us of the originals on camera for a minute. If you would have got your ass here earlier. Ah, uh, I don't even have. I still can't get internet. So, well, from the this is what God. you get for moving next to Nico. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, so. Ozzy probably still wants to kill me for this one because this is one of the books he bought several years ago. And I'm like, why would you buy a Amadeus Cho? That's just stupid. He sold it for a couple hundred bucks and now almost two grand. Wow. I, I still struggle with this particular book, but to each their own. I, yeah, I submitted, I just submitted two of them. I just, uh, of the people that are going to appear, he feels far off still, but what do I know? I wouldn't buy just that not cover. She Hulk. And I think they could use She-Hulk for everything that they want to use him for. Um, nine six Punisher wow. looks nine eight. That gets you some extra money, I think. So <laughs> he would have got twelve hundred, but he left off the fire emojis. Yes, he hey, did. I don't, you know, I don't have. I like putting emojis on there. It catches people's attention. No, I, I, I actually. Totally I'm going to jump ahead because I I put one on purely because of the description. If I can find it. So, can we? Uh, can you go back to that uh, Amazing Fantasy fifteen real quick? Yeah. Do you know the yeah. story of uh, Doc Joe's deal with that book? No, no, mm -mm. Oh, no, Joe. <laughs> if I'm if I'm correct, Joe, you're gonna have to remind me. He had one of these, sold it to his his friend. I think Evan was it Evan that you sold it to. Um, uh, somebody oh, press graded it, Evan or Jake? I'm not sure. Yeah, Jake, Jake. It was Jake. Yeah. I think it was Jake. Uh, pressed and graded it and sold it back to Doc Joe. And how much extra did you pay for it? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> how much extra did you pay for it? He sold it back to him for a, with a profit. Oh, Ooh, it was a 9 8. Oh, no, that's funny. Oh, that would hurt me a lot. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm off track, so I'm going to keep going through. But uh, this one surprised me. Joe. These fantasy Joe. masterpieces, these uh, you know, these reprints. People are going for a nine eight of this versus you know low grade of the original, or just you know wanting the cover. I I don't know. Uh, this one and that Silver Surfer one shot volume two are are kind of picking up pace. So almost three hundred bucks for a reprint is kind of impressive. Kind of goes along with that uh, Punisher reprint, the Marvel's Tale we saw a few weeks ago. Um, Zelda. This one's actually seems down a bit because I know Nico and I both sold <clears throat> raw, probably nine six contenders for four hundred plus at uh, Baltimore. So I, I think this was over a grand at one point, but it is it's the second a, print. Yeah, is the, the second print heard it in this case? I who knows. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just it depends on the book, pretty much. I I don't know if it hurts it or helps it. Yeah, I don't know either. Right? Yeah, which it it depends. I think some of the older uh, the older school uh, people uh, just would go with that whole. It's only worth something if it's first print, kind of. Yeah, but who's mantra. buying that it's, book? It's, it's people forever. like us. Mm, yeah. This is a video book game, for video 30 to 40 year olds, that. not a book for 60 year olds. Yeah, but I mean, that's it's more of a nostalgia book than a com than a comic book. <clears> you know what I mean, because it's for the nostalgia of the game. It's not for the nostalgia of the comic. I guess. So, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It it confuses me. I I still can't tell which one's which always. But I guess they're gonna say the CGC label a second print. I'm gonna assume they're right. Um, yeah, you can see it on there. Uh, Spider-Man 365, the book of the day, uh, creeping over 400. So, way to go, 2099. Even though we all knew it was coming, and this cover is horrible, and 
it's a preview, but it's this preview, preview we like versus some previews we don't. Kind of, we could throw in uh, DC Presents 26 as a preview that people put a lot of money in. So, yeah. Uh, this one's for Nico. Nice Matrix 9 8. I meant to look at the census because uh, a friend of the show said that there's a shit ton of them probably going to hit the census in 9698. But, uh, I saw that two. trailer. I, I saw trailer number two today, and I don't know about this, the new movie. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't even figure what it's even about. It's, I, I don't know. It, I don't know. It gave it, it like gave me hope, but take took away as much hope as it gave me at the same time. So I don't know what to say. I just have to wait. We just have to wait and see. I, I think it'll be better than uh, the original sequels. It wouldn't take much for that. Mm, number three. All right. Anyway, whatever. That's a that's another podcast. <laughs> uh, little Hawkeye, uh, the Aja variant, which is uh, the more in demand versus the the Savage. Savage is that who it is? Savage. Yeah. So uh, I think, are they both one in twenty five though? I believe they are. Savage. Okay. I like, I like the other one better. This one people like better. Either way, this one's pretty book. Three fifties almost feels like some point it might be a great deal down the road the way things go. I think with his his uh, you know his uh, vision, he's yeah, what the created the series. Is. It so sort of drives this cover. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, the other one's more visually interesting, but this one is the theme. Yeah. Um. Daredevil, really, it's staying flat. It's been floating in that six seven hundred, so it hasn't peaked up yet. Not say it won't. I think there's a new stand listed for three grand. Oh, wow, well, that's its own thing. Yeah, and I think yeah. some people, I think some nine, people eight. are sinking their money into ten and eleven instead of nine, I which is know. probably hurting it, it going up. Well, that's why when we divide our opinions on things, we can't ever get the money we. Uh, the Buy them all. It's all over the place. <laughs> uh, this is one I didn't actually know about, but when I saw an eight five <laughs> go for almost uh, over two fifty, a Resident Evil Marvel with inserts first Resident Evil. Any any of you guys familiar with this one? This feels like a McClay book. Yeah, this is um, a special promo that they gave out. It's really, really tough to find at all, yet alone in decent condition. Um, be, so I, I found four of them, and I, I look. This is one I'm, I'm going to give away one of the one of my saved searches, which we never do. But this is one of my saved searches. I, I try to find this book as much as I can, and um, I was hoping if Devoe was going to be on tonight, we could get into these because these video game books are starting to really, really shine again. And uh, this one's tough, really, really tough. Well, it's also got a new, you know, new reiteration of the movies coming out and all that good stuff. So, I, yeah, I feel like you've talked about it, but I never remember about it, and I would never look for it. it it's probably one that just never makes my hey, I should look at that while we're at a shop. Well, you know, it's funny. Um, I've had uh, I I had this is gonna. Uh, <laughs> sound che shitty but it's it's it is what it is um i had one and i was going to sell it in a whatnot auction and so i did my whatnot auction preview and it was there and um andy comic man andy hit me up and he, he's like man i've been looking for that forever and uh i was like well you know do you want do you want a nice copy or do you want a, this copy because that copy was just trash and he's like well I don't know, you know, so we haven't talked about it. So I pulled it just to see, you know, if he wants it because it is so rare. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a tough book. It's, um, it's add, a prelude. Add it to your list, guys. Yeah. So prelude uh, to the, uh, the original series, I guess. So they actually tied it into um, the rest of the series. It always interests me which ones are valuable versus not like. Uh, the Duke Nukem series is dirt cheap, and that was a huge yeah. franchise for a while. So, yeah, I, it just—I never know what's what and why one's rare, or not rare, or so again, point. like Uncharted. You know, all of a sudden has been gaining, gaining, gaining. Yeah, 
it is a Bill Sienkiewicz cover. And um, it uh, so basically at the end of the at the end of the story, it says uh, to be continued in the game. You know what I mean? So it's a it's a prelude for the or preview. Uh, you know, so for it the predates game. the game is probably why yes. it's got a little more juice. Yep. All right. Was it given away? Yeah, it was a giveaway with um, the game or pre to promote. No, to promote it. It was given away to promote it. Huh. Yeah, let me see if I can find uh, what's going on with that. So, see, we could nicely tie this into your uh, your uh, almost ten with the uh, injustice one you guys talked about the other day. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see here. I'm trying to find some information on it. Eh. Yeah. It's it's a tough book. It's a it's a really tough book, and I think it was given away as a promo. For something yeah it's a promo right yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah it's a promo i think it was given away before the game isn't there something going on with resident evil franchise movie franchise aren't they like yeah, rebooting it or something yeah yeah there's a, there's a redo a yeah. reboot yeah what up easy hey easy. then much hey. how are y'all what What's up? up so new mutants 98 uh new stand 3K or well no not quite 3K sorry uh, 26 so it's it's kind of bouncing up a bit not not nuclear again but you know this is one of those books that has some pretty big ebbs and flows so I keep waiting for the right ebb and I haven't got it <laughs> um freaking Thor another or uh, him another one of those uh, characters that doesn't have a clear cut appearance we can all argue who's what what's where but this is the toughest of the group you know if you want to find a high grade one good in luck mm -hmm. so a nine two is a beast I, i've had as high as an eight five and that was a beast i thought so that's a hell of a sale for a character that <laughs> is you know i like that title description not cbcs nine eight <laughs> well that's the dig to catch the search engine for yeah you know I mean? it's, it's funny i picked up the mexican version of this the other day and at the bottom inside of him it just says l it's amusing <laughs> to see all right nobody laughs that's okay uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was the other one i grabbed because it wasn't emojis but it goes Kirkman's true baby, invincible one. Robert Kirkman's true baby. Uh, that's a great <laughs> description. Why do we not have that more? So. I'm just waiting to see the not Tyler Kirkham cover. <laughs> <laughs> Put in Kirkman, Kirkham, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Uh, another one for Nico, second print of the uh, Hawkeye 9. He was a big fan of this one. I know he had. Uh, a couple of the early nine eights, it's uh, must be picking up a few, but that's still a really solid price for that book. So I don't know <laughs> why I thought that would be a grand by now. Oh yeah, me too. I'm betting there have been enough that kind of show up. You know, uh, I mean that second print's so tough though. Tough I just think book. it's. I don't know. It's probably not as many people. Given as, given as much time this is printing as we are. On, people have probably dug up a few more than there were. I bet it would... If, somebody if feel like listed, we're in the census. We, we would be an effective show. Yeah, if that was like... Uh, I think if it was listed at like 800 or something, it still would have sold. You know? Probably. Right. But, you know, options yeah. sneak by. Options just got... Who knows? I just realized I've picked a couple books from this guy because I just recognized the background from a, a minute ago. So I bought a raw know. one not too long ago for like 65 bucks. In a very fine year mint condition, off of whatnot. Nice. Yeah. Send it to Sean. Let him do some work on it. <laughs> yeah. This right, is a cover hey. I've seen before, but it just kind of—it is a cool cover with the combo of the Grim Reaper and the sports. I, I just kind of think it's—it uh, it checks a lot of boxes. So I, if I had seen this, I'd probably pick it up at a con. Just, just a nice yeah. combo product. It's pretty. That's pretty awesome. I've never. I didn't know that existed. That feels like that would be in your collection, Sean. 
Yeah, that that looks up my alley. So, um, <laughs> this one I had to grab because if you want the Harry Potter first appearance um, in Mystic Fifteen, <laughs> why would you not want it bound? Like it looks like a book from Harry Potter. Two hundred thirty <laughs> bucks. Somebody's oh, probably boy. spent more on it to get them bound at some point because that's a nice looking job. But I mean, really, I, I want mine to be bound like they're from uh, Hogwarts. So, Young Avengers, this thing is going. One bid sold fast. They're coming. I don't think we can argue that. I still don't love the uh, nine five, but you know, got to go with the. Got to go with the um, originality that there are only so many of them. What, why them. nine five? What, what I don't, I don't understand that. What? Why they do that? It, it was, was a, a special was, promo. Yeah, it was a promo they did with the wizard, and so um, there's only I don't know how many of these. How many books are there? How many different books? Like ten or something? And they only I think they were nine 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 oh nine fives and tens, hmm. and I. Uh, I the thought tens are nine fives. Shit, really? There's tens? I've seen this maybe pop up a few maybe times. I'm, maybe I'm tripping. Um, I thought they were only what, nine fives. Yeah, they're only nine fives that were done at that for this oh. con and for the special thing. Well, Probably meant they didn't like, have to grade them actually. Yeah, they did have, a special nine five for them. Have people cracked these out to get nine yes. eights? Yes. yes, like idiots. Well, it seems like every six months or so. One of these nine fives pops up into market. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I don't know. I mean, I you can argue either way. I, you know, the the nine fives probably weren't really graded. Do you you need the nine eight to complete everything else, or do you want the nine five? Because it is. But I weren't they all graded, right? So yeah, it, I think they, yeah, they were all graded. Whether it's the nine eight or the nine five, they're still all out of that same print run. Same print one, but you could get it raw. Oh, you could. That's what okay. That's what yeah. I should clarify. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So then there's less than 285 of them. Probably. Because some dipshits have cracked them out, I'm sure. This was from Long Beach Expo. Drew said he Sean. went to the show. Yeah. Why don't you have one, Sean? Uh that's your stomping ground. That's my stomping uh, ground. <laughs> it's the only con I've ever been to in my whole life. Wait, wait, hold on. Eric Hurd said he picked up a 9-5 Secret War number 3 of 30 last week. Not, is that... you got to be joking, right? I think they only did 9-5s for this. Maybe there were other ones at the con that were in that? I don't think I don't so. That's weird. Somebody, somebody Google or somebody... No, there's, there's, there's other... Number. There are other books. There's an X-23 book. Uh, there's a yeah, there's a X, uh, I know there's an X23 book, I can't remember which one. Um, hmm. So, did they do only do it at one show or did they do it for a handful of shows during like a let season? Let me look. All right, somebody clarify that because I'd always I've only seen this one, so maybe it's the only one people give a shit about. No, there were there were there were other books, I can't I just can't remember. All right, Ultimate Fallout 498 with a little bit of Miles rehype. This was uh. Pushing back yeah, towards the three K. What do you got there, sir? Go ahead and take that down real quick. Uh, so this is at um, my slab comics. Some some guy named Medic AR says these are some of the oddities from when CGC worked with Wizard. They released graded nine fives, a grade that CGC has not otherwise used of Wizard World convention exclusives. I picked them up when I find them for cheap. So there you go. So they did um, X twenty three number one, Ultimate X Men number fifty. Daredevil Father number one. Uh, and then here are the rest of them here. Let's take a look. There's Daredevil Father number one. That looks good with the red. Here's the uh, other Daredevil Father number one, which looks terrible without the red. Here's the Marvel Knight Spider Man number one. Mm. And Secret War. Yeah, you're right. There you go. Good, great score, Eric. It's really, really nice. One. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, here's the Issue ultimate two's first Quake. <laughs> X-Men. Nice. That's cool. Uh, this Wolverine is a great cover. 
Wow. Yeah, I'll learn Visual something effects. tonight, guys. There That's you go. It's all about. Pre- pretty cool, yeah. We yeah. got more to learn. I got more coming up on that uh, Resident Evil. Uh, okay. I got two more books to get through here. Uh, I have to show this one every time I see it. 2600 is a pretty strong sale for a 2.5. Um, it's been... ECs are slow to creep up, but they always do. So, I mean, you could have got a, a four or five or thereabouts for this last year. So, slowly creeping up. And this one again is for Nico, and he's not freaking here. Coverless Mystery Men one. Um, I think he had one of these that was not coverless, but came back like a point five or a point one, but complete. And I don't think he got this much for it, so I think he's going to be pissed. So, enjoy. It's a rare ass um, book, though. First Blue Beetle. Yeah. Here, here is uh, that uh, Resident Evil book again, and I'm going to drop a link in the chat here in a second. But there's a really good write up specifically on this book uh, where they talk about it, um, and uh, basically, so they had. Uh, talked to marvel about maybe getting them some artwork for the uh for the uh the cover of resident evil right and they got bill sinkevich and this is kind of funny uh one of the guys who was part of the project said when we've got the final artwork from bill s from marvel uh simone who was i guess the project leader or something was almost in tears even for bill it was not the cleanest image and it definitely didn't look like the other game box art at the time there was no way to really change it so we just accepted it but a lot of people at capcom at the time were not super happy with that art as the years go by i like it more just because it's very unsettling and different from other games which is actually perfect for us in an evil needless to say on her next marvel project simone went with joe mad to do the artwork for the marvel superheroes fighting game Ha! Ah, so if that never happened we might have never got joey mad for the marvel superheroes fighting game much cleaner, definitely more Marvel style from Joey Mad. I think it was digital retouching done on Bill's work, but he definitely did those two pieces for us. So that's kind of crazy. So then the the comic was supposed to be a prequel of the game, obviously. We all know that. But where it came from is uh, that same guy, Chris Kramer, says, we received boxes and boxes of the comic after it was printed, which were given out at trade shows, sent to retail to use as pre-order incentives or mailed to media and buyers to help build hype, etc., I know we shipped out tons to electronic boutiques to have distributed at at their stores before GameStop bought uh, the EB business. And I know that myself, Corey Tresder, and a few others were giving them out at the Capcom booth at Consumer Event in Dallas, um, which is really crazy. So I I thought that was very interesting, very, very cool uh, book. Here is if anybody wants to see or read more about it, um, I'm going to go ahead and drop that into... So it's well, a huge write up well, on the whole while thing. You got, while we were talking about that, Brian, our our video game expert who's been long lost yeah. had made okay. an appearance. No, that's not two uh, bald Ben's. That is the uh, <laughs> that's right. Bo that has been long lost. Brian, Brian, was that one breath, by the way? It was like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're hey. here, brother. Perfect timing yeah, on the ha- right happy book. Two, happy 200 sh- uh, shows, guys. That's awesome. Oh yeah, thank you, brother. Um, uh, stick around if you can till after uh, this sure. this end of this market report because I want to. I got I got some funny things I want to show you. Sure. All right, so let's get into the rest of the market report. Uh, so let me get down to here. Uh, some toy things. Uh, this is a 1939 Superman toy that I thought was just cool. really cool looking, and I think would be really cool to just own for the history. It sold for four grand on two bids. Holy uh, crap! Yeah, just old school, super old school. Uh, from 1939, when the comic came out, he was even oh, popular Jesus. enough to have a have a uh, toy. So uh, this is uh, an Estrella, a Brazil Estrella uh, version two <clears throat> Snake Eyes. Super yes. cool. Sold for 3,700. I remember when nobody wanted those. The yep. plastic was cheap. Yep. Uh, this is. I remember w- one of my first. Uh, Christmases that I really have a big memory of is the Christmas that my best friend got this and I was so jealous because this was the coolest toy at the time. This is uh, the Jetfire Generation 1 Transformer sold for uh, 3500 sealed and it has they have a nice little acrylic case there. Here's the double telescoping uh, Luke 
33 bids, three grand. It's an AFA 85. Look how clean those loose figure cases for AFA look. They look damn good. Yeah. Um, Ninja Turtles for Paul, uh, who's not here. The sewer play set sold for three grand. It's pretty cool that they kept it that long for that stuff. And this blew me away. This is a pennant, you know, like sports pennants. And I guess in 1990, they must have had a touring Ninja Turtle band. Right. Ah. And Don Donatello played the guitar, bro. So uh, they had this is a pennant for that. And the pennant. Well, that was after pizza. Turtles 2, right? When they yeah. played when they yeah. played the band. Yeah. yeah. I found my VHS tape of that, of their tour. And like, the secret you know, of was, no, no, no. Like it was a tour video of them playing live music. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. So because uh, I think I was on the phone with Nico. He was like, you know, he's talking about VHS tapes and all that. And I was like, that's was awesome. Like, yeah, I was like, oh, too bad it's not sealed anymore. Like, it still has the saran wrap, but, like, the bottom's open. Because, like, you know, I remember watching that as a kid. Yeah. So it's a concert video. Yeah, it's a concert yeah. video with Vanilla Ice. <laughs> 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 That'll be on the next market report. Uh, this is kind of cool. Old school Monsters toys from Remco, 1964. Oh, nice. thousand bucks. I would buy those if I saw those. Those are super cool. Um, all right. So Scotty was on the show. Uh, I always got to give him shit about being a Philadelphia fan, especially the Flyers. And uh, this kind of blew me away. Uh, uh, oh, I thought it was the, the Eagles. It's the Jets. I apologize. I thought it was the Eagles, but who cares? Uh, this just goes to show you that uh, 19 or starting lineups are, are selling for money now. This isn't even the first starting lineup year. 88 was the first year. Uh, I know 88 and 89 were like regional, so it's hard to get certain figures if you didn't live in that region. Um, but this is a, an offensive lineman. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Wild. Right? <laughs> um, so anyways, an offensive lineman sold for uh, $136. I've never even heard of Dave Cadigan. Anyways. Maybe he bought his own. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, all right. This is interesting. Sonic the Hedgehog comic book packs. I didn't know about Whoa. these. You guys know about these? Nope. Oh, no. uh, this feels like yours, right? Uh, Five ninety nine for these. I, I, I've never seen Sonic ones. Yeah. I Damn wonder it, what man. the comics are. I wonder He's what the, the comics are. Uh, this is cool. All right, I always talk about these Jurassic Park figures. Jurassic Park figures and toys sell for a shit ton, like a lot, and it's surprising. And uh, this is uh, the Jurassic World Alpha Training Blue Dinosaur, sold for four hundred fifteen dollars. Uh, looks like some type of remote control, something. I don't know. Uh, you can train it with your hand. It's, uh, there we it go. Was, uh, yeah, it was like I think twenty eighteen. That's um, badass. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I think it was like a five hundred dollar toy when it came oh, out. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow, I can't believe it. even the old Jurassic Park shit sells for a ton. Um, this next yeah. one, uh, Transformers, the uh, old school tapes, um, and uh, I've never seen Slugfest and Overkill. I don't remember them. Uh, they look like little Dinobots. I thought that was pretty cool. Seven, uh, 17 bids, almost 355 bucks. Still unopened. I can still see the, the price tag from old school store on top. I love those. I think it's cooler when the price tags are there. Yeah. Um, all right. You guys remember this? The Centurions? Yeah, I love Centurions. Hell yeah, man. I remember these toys from when I was a kid. Uh, I remember getting the, the first one I ever. I was, was so geeked out for this. Um, 80 bucks for old school Centurion loose action figure. I had a Jake Rockwell, and I, and I'm in my mother, she's driving down the, driving down the street. And I fire the rocket out of the window. <laughs> oh. Totally ruined it for me. Driving home, driving back from Children's Palace. Did oh, you make geez. a stop and go back and look for it? Or did you go back and look for it the next day? <laughs> I was man. Every time we would drive past, I would always like look out for the rocket. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna see it. Um, all right, this is a GI Joe that you don't see very often. This is the uh G vintage GI Joe Action Force rapid fire motorcycle with coral. Uh, I've 
I think this is cover girl with a different reprint and a different body. It looks like it's weird. Um, this is the British version of GI Joe and I I've never seen this figure. Never, ever, never. Ever. So, uh, we were talking about this on some show the other day, the mouser figures. And I don't remember that these mouser figures, um, I, I didn't know that they, and my brother was super into turtles. I got like 500 of the damn things in some tub and a closet somewhere. I don't remember the little mouser figures. Do you guys? From uh, Turtles in Time, the video game. That's the okay. only thing I really, uh, really remember them from. Man, that's crazy. Uh, $137 unpunched. So you get one little mouser. I do remember when McFarlane put out the Max figure. Was it the Max figure? And they had the little figures with it that look like mousers kind of i forget what the ids or something uh scarlet these are new did you know that they're putting out new retro gi joe three and three quarter figures mm -hmm. yeah. i think you it's walmart that's selling them yeah walmart that's selling them right um i believe i saw some at walmart all i saw were stalker and the cobra trooper oh there's a ton of stalkers yeah <clears throat> and nobody likes stalker yeah, I think this is like they're on like their second or third wave now at this point, aren't they? I had no clue. That's terrible. Well, look how much they're selling for. $70 for a Scarlet. It's nuts uh, for a new one. It's crazy to me. People are nuts for everything these days, my friend. Uh, Toy Biz Wrestler Spider-Man from Spider-Man uh, 1 action figures. $255 on 21 bids. This is uh, probably some Tobey Maguire fallout, right? Him showing Are they back both Spider-Man or is one uh, Randy? So it's Spider-Man, and then you can put the disguise on him to make him oh, look see, like that's that. that's lame. Like, yeah. it was Buzzsaw, a minute. Chainsaw. <laughs> uh, this is just the box. Empty box from a vintage Boba Fett display, 12-inch figure. Um Three hundred and twenty-five dollars on thirty-three bids, just the box. Wow. Uh, what year is that? Uh, I'm not sure, but you know what? I've seen people list them as seventy-nine, which doesn't make sense. I think it's just they call them seven to seventy-nine, twelve inches, because that's when they started. Mm -hmm. um, but that is a great question for people in the chat. Let us know uh, what uh, year that Boba Fett came out. We're talking to you, Dennis. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, JJ if he's there. This one is uh, one of my favorite Spawn covers. And, <laughs> like, this was uh, any th anytime there's like anybody hanging, it's super creepy, right? And this, I remember they did the cover, the art of Spawn toys, and I don't remember this figure being super rare. So it came out in '79. Wow, uh, that's interesting. Um, two hundred and two dollars for this. Was this rare? Was this super rare? This version of this, but never even seen that before. Yeah, Dude, spawn stuff never makes sense. So yeah, <laughs> completionist man, completionist. Here we go. Uh, vintage Ghostbusters Ghost Trap from uh, the Ghostbusters animated series oh, stuff. Come on. Yeah, I remember this. My brother had this. I had this two. Two hundred three dollars on twenty bids. This is interesting. All right. So even if you have broken or just little parts of toys, you guys, it could bring money. This is just the battery cover for the Jawa Sandcrawler uh, roller thing, that huge Sandcrawler. Just the battery cover sells for $130. And then this is just a, a weapon from Silverhawks. It sells for 75 bucks. No. Yeah. How would you even know what that is? That's what I'm saying. You just have to Google like It just looks like... It just looks like some kind of, well, like sex toy or something. I mean, like, <laughs> a molecular most, sex mostly toy. Mostly sellers are probably like toy experts that just happen to get yeah. it in a bin. And you, yeah. you know that was listed for like two years until it found like the one guy who needed it. <laughs> Seven <laughs> just, guys. Just like uh, Carter's going to pay for that missile someday. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to be... put, Mercenot, this is yours. I found it. <laughs> So we got uh, two castles tonight. We've got the Gargoyle Castle playset, thir 31 bids, 680. That's pretty cool. I don't even remember that, but how about this? 
Castle Gray Skull Complete Loose sold for eight hundred and eighty six dollars. Jeez. That's nuts. Wow. Hmm. Is that is that about going rate, Carter? Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure about loose. Yeah, that's a uh, lot. But man. yeah, that's that's a that's respectable for that's about four hundred and forty dollars shipping too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that off on this thing. look at that. Yeah. Off on this. So there's knock, there's he'll knock up ten bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that <laughs> coming? Is that coming from Eternia? Maybe it's international. <laughs> <laughs> you got a sign yeah. for it. All that comes on the freight pallet. Nico bailed out again early, so I can't uh, talk about his favorite talk boy, the talk boy junior. Oh, uh, we had the talk boy last week. Here's the talk boy junior, $202 on nine bids, unopened. Um, all right, this is cool. So this is the power of the force, bat or the superpowers Batman. Was it superpowers? Yeah, superpowers Batman. But they recolored him to look like the Keaton Batman and sold it under for Batman toys in in Brazil under Estrella. So um, just like the Superman figure that they recolored as the Riddler, they did something similar with, uh, with this Batman figure and it sells for a ton, $276 loose, 27 bids. And then here is a, a loose toy biz Spider-Man two action figure of doc Ock. $132.50, 43 bids. I guess this one may be some special variant because the it says Bendy Wire Tentacle version. So it might be probably was the early ones they put out and those maybe broke, so they fixed them, you know, that type of deal, um, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I can right. imagine that being a bitch of a toy to keep together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, let's go through. I got a couple more here. So I got some really cool star uh, uh, Transformer stuff. This is original Transformers from Japan. Um, this is the original uh, Optimus Prime. Uh, Diaclone Battle Convoy. $15,000 on 75 bids. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look how cool this is. All right? Mm. Yeah, sold for a ton. So that was cool. Um. All right, let me get through some of these the rest of these ones. So this is another one that sold. There's a bunch of these that sold. This one is the Train Robo. So where they put them all together before. I remember the Transformers. I thought the Constructicons were the first one. Am I wrong about that? That you could put together like uh, Voltron and shit? Um, but this is way before. I don't remember the Train Transformers. Mm-mm. So there's a Transformers uh, Voltron type Constructicon figure, three thousand three hundred fifty dollars on twenty six bids. This is probably a stupid question, but do you think toys like that that nobody has any idea what they are, if they're easy to forge? Great question. Great question. Um, yeah, I bet you they are. Well, especially with three D printers now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Market. a great question. Uh, this one's cool. I've never even heard of LG Mysteries of the Universe play sets, but this is the UFO play set. It's got a bunch of UFOs and little aliens, and it sold for $300 or $250. I thought that was interesting. I've never seen that. Um, this is uh, kind of cool. This, and I've never seen this. Uh, Halo... Master Chief action figure. It's got me. It says medium jersey control Xbox bundle, and it's just a. I think it's just. It's got a figure in it. It's got a controller and a jersey that says Master Chief. That's a Lakers jersey. Um, I don't know if it just came out or what, but it sells for a grip. Sold for eight hundred thirty-five dollars on five That's bids. Weird. weird. That's really weird. Yeah. Yep. So. Uh, there's that. If there's any, if, if there's any of uh, you guys out there uh, on that side of the world, maybe look for that stuff. This is a really cool. Here you go, Z. This is a really cool transformer. You can get your kid. This is uh, robots into. Or this is the uh, Skybite, 2001 Skybite. Look how cool that looks. I thought that just looked really cool. Shark, uh, Beast Wars type figure transformers. 150 dollars on 42 bids on that one. Um, I tell you guys about Battle Beasts. Battle Beasts uh, sell. 
this lot sold some of them have no arms there's a couple of army ants in there um i don't know what that is but uh it has the greatest one ever the bat but it doesn't have his hook arm so these are just trash look at all these they're trash but the weapons the weapons are big money i think and this sold for 200 dollars on 19 bids which is bonkers yeah. those used to the, they're technically transformers really yeah. well they were um in uh japan they're actually part of the transformers uh show wow and they were actually released in japan with the transformers logo which is where those little you know the heat sensor squares. uh squares those were used to be decepticon and autobot um uh icons and then when hasbro brought the line over to the u.s they didn't want them to be part of the transformer line so they did this little you know the little heat sensor sticker on them and changed the name and took away all the transformer references oh that's a bummer um, but like in japan they have shows with the battle beasts you know riding along with uh, the transformers so yeah I it's love these kind things. of a kind of unofficial transformer that's awesome i didn't know that the, i love these things yeah. as a kid these things are so much fun um here's something that i talk about all the time that i can't believe it sold for as little of this i've seen it sell for a crap ton the famous uh, spider hulk my favorite action one of my favorite action figures ever made super super hard to find i actually looked for this on the peg uh when i bought mine it was so hard to find and i finally found one and I, of course i opened it and, and you know put it on a shelf and shit super cool i always loved the spider hulk character and this action figure was just such a great sculpt and had uh, you could pose it in a bunch of cool ways it sells for a grip uh loose and this one this is what it usually sells for loose so i think this person got a pretty good deal on uh, yeah yeah got a pretty good deal on that um all right this is uh we're almost here at the end here a uh, couple card things we've got the fortnite strikes back this is series one black knight not even graded loose uh, Crystal Shard Legendary Outfit sold for $17,877 on 40 bits. Why? It's, Why uh, bother with it, comics? It's, it's because the skin is one of the most legendary skins in Fortnite. So the only way you could get that skin was if you played at the very beginning. I want to say it was like season one, um, like the second round. They only put it up for like two days. And then it was gone. And then it was gone forever. They've released some version of it since, but to get that original one, you had to have that. Like that card was one of the only one ways to get it. So hopefully, no one downloaded it. You know, that is amazing. Okay, so that okay, oh, all right. So that card is. Does it come with a code? Does it have a code? What's it should happening? have a code. It should have a code on it. Mm. It's Could crazy. I don't know. Whatever it is, maybe, it's crazy. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just a card. Yeah, it's just a card. Yeah. It's, but he's uh, so, one of the, the most legendary skins. So it's, So you can see the so it must be I don't know if a black is a one oh one or because it's got the it says it's the black shard version. They have different uh different types, just like they have refractors. You can see the shards. So it might be like a one of one, or maybe like they only made fifty of the black shard version, but seventeen almost eighteen thousand dollars that's a lot of money man that's, that's a lot of money can't even put it in a top loader yeah right <laughs> right um all right so we'll end it off on this one this one's kind of a funny one um yeah uh not much you can say about this people are crazy <laughs> oh wow jim and 10 baby do you think they paid uh paid 150 dollars to get that graded Mm -mm. sold it on probe steam to get the 20 percent 10 almost 10 nine grand for for the for the auto um geez louise that is absolutely bonkers so uh that ladies say, and gentlemen is the market 2012 report. yeah 2012 2012 this came out before he was president so there you go there's a i saw well, on, on instagram somebody just pulled the like a, a a new one i don't remember the name of the pack. i might be able to find it here stay uh somebody pulled the new 101 uh, Trump auto. It was my friend's uh, LCS, so he sent, sent a picture. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, rookie. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also no, there's a Playboy one. Yeah, there's, there's a there's a Playboy card like where 
uh, Trump's on there where it's like one of his, uh, you know, one of those Playboy covers. Yeah. It's like an old boy or whatever. Yeah, he was in uh, another Parks of Day before this too. But uh, yeah, there you go, you guys. <laughs>